Well, we got to see some snow on Friday across the Avalon. I know in May we really don't want to see it, but it was a rain snow mix that la lasted shorter than it needed to. Now, one of the stories that's not lasting quite short is the fires across northern Alberta. Now, the smoke covered areas of Edmonton on Saturday, and that might be the case through Sunday as well. And most Canadians, even down towards southern Ontario, got to see this spectacle. The Aurora Borealis, one of the most intense events that we've seen in decades. We're going to be talking more about severe weather as we're talking about Mother's Day ahead. Well, thanks so much for joining us this morning on Weather AM. Let's take a look at your national forecast. I'm meteorologist Rhythm Marie, and for areas across the northern end of Nova Scotia into Newfoundland, it's going to be a wet day. Definitely not the day you want to be out and about doing any activities. A little bit of snowfall for the Great Northern Peninsula as we're heading towards the evening and that low tracks on through. But for areas across Nova Scotia or the southern end of Nova Scotia and for areas right across New Brunswick, it's going to be a fairly clear day. When we're taking a look at some of the rainfall totals towards the eastern end of the Avalon, we can be looking at 20 upwards of 25 millimeters of rainfall. Most other regions will be looking at the high end being between 10 and 20 millimeters. Now, a bit of a quiet start across regions of southern Ontario, but we do have the risk for some pop-up showers throughout areas of eastern Ontario, stretching into southern Quebec and even into the GTA. We're not going to be looking at a washout event by any means, but more so a sprinkle. So you can definitely go for a walk if that was your plan or a hike with your mom. But areas across Sudbury, you will be looking at persistent rain as we're going through the afternoon. It will move quickly as it moves on in, but as we're heading into Monday, we're going be watching areas across southern Ontario widespread thunderstorm risk is going to be the story there so make sure you go out and enjoy the day today in terms of the rainfall we can be looking on the high end of upwards of 30 millimeters tracking right across southern Ontario by the time the system moves out today additionally the thunderstorm risk moving out tomorrow in terms of the temperatures for this afternoon 16 degrees in Toronto 20 in Windsor a little bit warmer across areas of Charlottetown compared to yesterday, 8 degrees, and Halifax at 12 degrees. Now, one of the places that we've been looking at almost like summer-like conditions is going to be the prairies. 25 as a high for Calgary today, 27 for Lethbridge. A beautiful day ahead, maybe some severe weather. I'm going to get into that in a second. Across areas of Winnipeg into Saskatchewan as well. Sunny conditions continuing through the day today, so it's going to be a beautiful day to go out and have some fun. That cold front brought with it plenty of cooler air, so we definitely dropped a couple of degrees across regions of Winnipeg. Now, this is the active area right across Canada. And we are going to be looking at the risk for some thunderstorms, severe thunderstorms in the orange, bringing about the risk of some large hail and the culprit behind that is going to be this boundary we have flow that's moving from the south up towards the on the east end of this boundary and the flow from the northwest on the west side those two air masses converging that's what's going to cause these thunderstorms to come to fruition they're going to be east of the qe2 so not the immediate foothills tracking towards the southwest they will weaken as they head into saskatchewan but another day as we're heading into monday of more possibly severe storms across the region. A low pressure is going to be forming right off of that boundary and that's going to bring with it plenty of showers across regions of the prairies and the air quality will continue to be poor across regions of Edmonton and Grand Prairie for today.